Now, going over to the political part podcast, you have Trump proposing to repeal the federal income tax and replace it with tariffs, which I don't want to say this guarantees him a lot of votes, but this definitely gets him more votes. Because one of the most important things in the United States is the federal government stealing from you with the federal income tax. Back in the day, there was no federal income tax. And the first time it was proposed, I believe it was Abraham Lincoln with the Civil War, it was 3%. 3. And then you had World War II. Another, again, it's gone back and forth throughout history. Mostly we didn't have it. And then World War II came along and they said, you know what? We're going to have a temporary income tax. Or, or volunteer, volunteer first. They go, well, this war's getting expensive. We're going to have a, you know what, just for the war, just for the war, we'll have you, uh, we'll have income tax for folks. And of course, it never went away, like all government taxes. One of the most famous ones being the Illinois toil system, where I would unfortunately have to visit family in that place. And they said, oh yeah, we're going to build these, to- we're going to build this highway. The tolls will only be the temporary. So just pay for the highway. Then once the highway was built, they go, well, we're just going to keep it a little longer. And to this day, they have it. It's like 15 bucks a toll. Which is why if I have to visit family, just for supply, I pay them in pennies. But I partially digress. This is one of Trump's best ideas for many reasons. And it went pretty viral on social media. It was actually one of the first reporters was leading report. And they say, quote, breaking Trump allegedly followed the concept of eliminating the income tax and replacing it with the tariffs at a GOP meeting at the Capitol Hill Club. So I guess I should say allegedly. But damn, that'd be, that, that's such a good idea. It's got to go with it. Should go with it. Got 8.3 million views and 57,000 likes. And this would be great for many reasons, not just because, you know, government theft is bad and Lord knows, what are they doing with our money? Mostly giving it to other people. But nevertheless, some of this is, is where that would also spur manufacturing in the United States. Because imagine, you had to pay a tariff, which again, that's, it's a, you're paying a, a fine or paying extra money for something that's important to the United States. Like, for example, an iPhone, one of the most famous imports of history, and also shows the capability of manufacturing in China and subsequently India, where they're moving production. Well, they can manufacture here, or let's say there's a 20% tariff, well, then you have to pay 20, let's say, if it's a thousand dollars from China, you would have to pay twelve hundred dollars because there'd be twenty percent tariff. Now, I'm not sure if they'd also have a local, you probably would have also a local sales tax as well, which in Texas is eight point two five percent. Yes, it's way too high. And but if you had something that's manufactured here, you wouldn't have that tariff. So this would also have the effect of increasing U.S. manufacturing. Now, scrolling down, some of the first comments comes from Paul, or sorry, Luke Rukowski, one of my favorite YouTubers, and looks like, oh yeah. I'm already following him. He says, brilliant. Where he has a gif of, what's that guy? The British guy who yells at people. Not Gordon Ramsay. Thomas Cowell? Cow? Simon Cowell? Where the American Idol thing with you guys? I got 80 likes. Hodgefrey says, government F word does, oh. Government cigarette word? Bags? I don't know what you said. I don't know if it's pejorative anymore. Well, like this one, I got 1.4 thousand likes. Run down more and more. Truth Hammer says, be a real shame if the world watched the petrol dollar break under Biden's Watch and Trump MAGA had to overhaul the entire debt slavery system to fix it. In 277 likes, which, spoiler alert, yeah, Saudi Arabia, it's kind of, uh, let that expire, so we're, infl- get ready for inflation. Going down more and more. Camelot official says, how do I vote 37 times asking a dead leftist? Can y'all let me know? Well, I was going to say, just go to counties where they don't require voter ID, which, astronomically enough, does exist in America. That got 374 likes. House Becker says 20% flat tax will never happen, but it should be the first stop. I mean, 314 likes, which, yeah, would be an interesting idea. I've also had interesting discussions with people who were thinking it'd be more effective to have a VAT tax or a tax, only a sales tax. So you'd have no income tax, which one of the biggest issues with that is if you're here in the United States illegally, which millions and millions are, well, if they don't get to tax their income, if they had to, again, pay a sales tax that's much larger or a VAT tax, well, then the government still get money from them, even though they're not getting an income tax from those individuals. So I've actually heard more and more people talking about that economic argument lately. Thrown down more and more. Trump also said he wouldn't want to tax tips, which that's, I like that. Brandon Herrera, also known as the AK guy, says, base as fuck, getting 7.2 thousand likes. I thought I'd be the one to get to 7.3, but not today. I did like it nevertheless. Thrown down more and more. Gunther Eagleman says, LFG, getting 420 likes. Let's see. Alexa says, can you imagine how amazing it would be? 30 to 40% of our paychecks back in our pockets, plus there'd be no reason for the IRS. Get 7.3 thousand likes, which, oh yeah, talk about a double whammy. Like everyone is str- everyone, like everyone is struggling right now just to make ends meet. Imagine you've got to keep all the money the federal government steals, I mean taxes from you, and I. How much easier would life be? 
astronomically better to say the least. Red Wave Press says this is more realistic than the original report of eliminating the income tax and having nothing to replace it. I hope Trump does this. It's time we cut back on how much Americans are paying in taxes. Getting 2.9 thousand likes, which I definitely like that. Because, yeah, I think we're at our breaking point. People can barely, I mean, people can barely break even, yet alone to buy a house. I mean, I mean, again, another issue with the government is the interest rates. Which, again, the Federal Reserve, and don't even get me started on that. But, yeah, there's a reason I still rent these days, and, yeah. It's ridiculous what what's going on and how much the government takes from us. And it, again, if Americans are really good at math, we just sit down and say, "Hey, oh, well, I guess we do a little small experiment right now—not really experiment, but walk it through." Let's say you make a hundred dollars. Well, the federal government steals forty percent. Let's say you have to live in a state that takes ten percent income tax. That's fifty percent of your paycheck gone already. And then you want to buy something. That's five to eight percent sales tax. That's gone. Then you have everything else. You have gas tax, alcohol tax, telecom tax, aka internet tax, water tax. What else? There's so many. Yeah, fuel tax, inheritance tax, property tax. Again, when I was a kid, my dad told me what property tax was. And unfortunately, they were screwed over by the government because it was more expensive than a mortgage. And I literally told my dad, I thought it was a scam. Like, so you bought, you're, you're buying the house every year. And then they got, eventually they got to the point where they pay off the house. And I'm like, but every year you still have to pay? He goes, yeah, it's property tax. I'm like, sounds like a scam. And to this day, my, I, yeah, I still think it's a scam. Going down more and more. Dell says, dude, let's freaking go. Taxation is 100% theft. I hope Donald Trump does this. And I hope it packs it's his. Being 2.5 thousand likes. Now that's another issue. Could this be done through executive order if he does actually win? Because again, a lot of people are starting to speculate. What if Trump wins? But what if, he lo what if the Republicans lose the House and the Senate? And don't forget, there's a lot of useless rhinos, pejoratively known as Republicans in name only. Remember last time Trump was in the White House, again, I'm someone who believes in the Second Amendment because I'm an American, but they were trying to get suppressors off the NFA, or the National Firearms Act of 1934, which would mean you could buy a suppressor with a standard background check and 4473 paperwork. And right now, if you want to buy a suppressor, you have to have fingerprints taken, and you have to have a passport photo and more BS paperwork. You're basically treated as a criminal for your God-given rights. And again, the Republicans had the White House, they had the House of Representatives, and they had the Senate, and they had a bill that could have taken suppressors and treated it like a standard firearm, again, on a 4473 and a background check to purchase. And yet, they didn't even bring it up for a vote. Because there's so many useless rhinos. Again, pejoratively known as Republican in name only. So that'd be another issue is how does Trump, if he does win, how would he actually get this, how would he actually get this done? That's another thing. A lot of people are speculating that Trump might win, but Republicans will lose heavy in the Senate and House Representatives. That's just the rip. And again, we'll see what the polls are like, but that could happen. Let's see. Bernard Wachari says, let it be heard, and says everything was better under Trump. No war, no woke CRT, no inflation, no illegals, border secured, high employment, energy independence, strong military, peace through strength, America first. At 217 likes, which it was the first time I believe in 60 years where the U.S. was energy independent, which... Just how, shows you how inept our government is. It's almost as if they want us to be, want us to struggle and buy oil for countries who hate us. See a couple more. There's gotta be some contrarians. There's gotta be someone who says we need to pay more taxes. I have some very left friends who do agree that the taxes are going to be increased and should be illegal to make certain amounts of money. Let's see. Scroll down one more. Mr. Vincent Stava says Trump knows what's up. We've got this man, we've got to get this man a second term, getting 591 likes. Michaela Rose says that's exactly what he plans to do, and he's going to get rid of the credit score system. <laughs> I mean, that would never happen. I got 234 likes. I mean, Biden is, again, Biden is proposing taking medical debt off of the credit system, which, again, would skew your credit score and also give landlords and other people a false impression of your ability to pay. Again, medical debt is, I know it's a rough thing. They do have payment plans. But, again, getting rid of the credit score... It is an issue that there are so many variables in so many parts of your life that are dependent on a credit score. But at the same time, how does a landlord know that you have a high propensity to pay? Like, when I, when I, right now I'm renting this house. I wish I owned it. But when I was doing my application, my landlord did a standard credit check to see, you know, historically speaking, did I pay my apartment bills on time? Did I pay my water bills on time? And again, that all goes into your score and says, hey, you know, topping his high propensity of paying his obligations on time and again that i don't see the credit scores ever going away in the united states i think it's bs that you are sometimes punished when you actually pay things off early and in, in that regard 
again, I think that could be tweaked. I'd, I'd agree with that, but I'm not sure about this person's idea to get rid of it. Now, Rob says, cool, a politician thinking outside the box for the benefit of Americans. Novel concept, don't y'all think? Getting 377 likes, which, yeah. And again, one of my favorite sayings about uh, Democrats and Republicans, Democrats are running off a cliff, but Republicans are walking there because, again, they both seem to be going in the direction that doesn't benefit the average American. Now, Kent, Nate, or if my dyslexia wasn't acting up, I'd be able to pronounce it, Nate Kent, but nevertheless, Nate Kent says, quote, flat 10% income tax across the board with no loopholes would take care of this country 10x over and lift the communities out of poverty. Wrong. That got 146 likes, though. Again, one of the issues with poverty in communities is also culture. Again, there is a, it's a multivariable reason of why people exist in poverty. And you look at, well, one of the most effective mechanisms since the dawn of time to lift people out of poverty, historically speaking, is capitalism. I can go down a long road on that. But again, this would, I'm not sure about a flat income tax. That's another debate for another time. And I have, I have heard some interesting arguments both ways. Do a couple more. Tez says taxation is theft, getting 227 likes. Let's see. If there's any contrarian statements in here. I'm trying to find it. Uh, let's see here. Going down more and more. Native Patriot said this would literally change the world again, 95 likes, which again, it would in many ways, especially manufacturing. That. Let's see here. Dan Hannon says the IRS costs us way too much. Make a flat tax at 9%, getting 83 likes. Which again, that would be moving. That would move us greatly in the right direction, I believe, because again, a lot of people are paying 30, 35, 40% federal income tax. At what point do you just not work? And that is not, that's not a reason I think, you know, the war on poverty is complete. BS. when I mean, you look at the rates of poverty and how much trillions of dollars you spent on it. And yet, in many ways, it's actually had the inverse effect and hurt people, make them dependent on the government, which I would ask, I mean, if I'm being negative, I would say, well, I, would ask, I kind of think government just does that so that you remain dependent on the government. And then you'll vote for a bigger and bigger government to get more and more free stuff. But nevertheless, it looks like overwhelming support for this alleged idea. And it'll be interesting to see if Trump, you know, makes this one of the big talking points for the upcoming election. Because then that would be a revolutionary idea. I mean, think about it. Since World War II, we've had an astronomically high income tax in the United States. Lord knows how much of that money actually stays here. And how much of it actually helps us at the end of the day. And what we actually get out of it. No topic for another time, perhaps. But... Yeah, if I think of the top 10, like, good bullet points Trump should be putting on t-shirts and mugs and all the swag, this would be a good one. It's a very revolutionary concept. Everyone is being taxed to death, struggling. What, that'd be a fun question. What would you do if you, had to, if you got to keep that 30 to 40% 40, 40 the government's taking right now? I mean, personally, I mean, I couldn't buy a house tomorrow, but I, I'd save that money. And I'd definitely start saving up more for a house even more than I am now. And shoot, I mean, if I got to keep that, I, I could probably sway a monthly house payment. I mean, rent, that's not an issue, is rents keep going up more and more. I mean, personally, that'd be a, I mean, that'd, that'd be life-changing. But, let me know in the comments. Do you think it's a good idea? Will it increase in popularity? Could this be the one idea that sets them over the top? As always, it'd be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, try to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So, if you could click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, thumb down, or a comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.